Hello everyone, this is Richard C. Wilson with the Family Office Club, and today we're doing a member spotlight interview with Leonard Way from The Beach Company. Welcome, Leonard. Thank you, Richard. It's a pleasure joining you today. Sure, appreciate you being here. Uh, how long has The Beach Company been around, and what is it that you guys do? So we are celebrating our 75th year this year. Uh, the Beach Company is a family-owned, multi-generational real estate firm. We've developed and managed pretty much everything other than heavy industrial. For the last 12 years, we've been heavily focused on the multifamily spectrum uh, as a developer, and I'm now running an acquisition fund to acquire existing properties throughout the Southeast. Okay, great. And why are you focused on multifamily communities now after that long history of experience in many different areas? We've always been in the multifamily industry. Uh, the Beach Company has generally uh, played in various niches, but we've always uh, niches in, in forms of different real estate sectors. So really coming out of the last recession, the multifamily world was the best one that we could focus on. And we have uh, coalesced the entire company around those that this particular real estate class. It's the most vibrant. It has the most uh, resiliency to the ups and downs of, of the overall real estate market and the economy. And we feel that it has a, a long life to go. Sure. And I know you're focused on the Southeast. You know, why, why not focus on a niche where others are not as much like uh, Nebraska or Alaska or the Midwest? I mean, why, why the Southeast? Well, we've always been headquartered in Charleston, South Carolina, so we're right in the heart of the Southeast, and it's it's the market we know. We we have been in and out of the various states of the Southeast over the, the whole 75-year period, so it, it's not new to us, whereas Nebraska would be completely foreign to us. The other benefit is I'm a five-hour drive time to some of the largest MSAs that of North Carolina, Georgia, and, and the top part of Florida. Right, right. Okay. And I know some people with your skill set focus exclusively on development, some focus on existing properties. Uh, where are you focused right now and why? Well, we're as, as an overall company, we're focused on a number of areas. Uh, I run the beach real estate funds, so we are a, a distinct uh, subset of the beach company we're focused solely on acquiring existing multifamily properties okay and so if there's a fund then set up to do that how does that really work how, do, how does the fund invest the capital for investors and the first part is we got to go find the property so we're, we're finding properties that show a clear ability to uh, create value be it through uh, renovating units to achieve a higher rental rate be it uh, properly managed, what it might be a mismanaged opportunity. Um, it might be that we add more units by building on excess land. Right, right. Makes sense. So I think one thing that's unique about Beach Company, uh, I remember on our first phone call, I remember I was in New York when I took that, you know, with you maybe six to nine months ago. And, um, you know, you've been around for 75 years. Most real estate firms have been around for seven years or 17 years. Sounds like a lot for most, but you've actually been with Beach Company for more than 17 years. You've been there for over 20 years, I know. So during that time, I'm sure you've had multiple joint venture partners. You've had debt providers conduct due diligence on properties with you and do the underwriting with you. You've had investors come in and you know been at the table of both institutional and as well as high net worth private <clears throat> investors i'm guessing so <clears throat> in the due diligence area based on all that experience what what's the question that investors are almost never asking and they really should be asking you when it comes to conducting due diligence on a multifamily fund or a real estate fund in general that you could kind of shine a light on given the the length of track record of your firm and then you know, the number of years you've been with the firm, I think it's kind of a unique perspective to get your, your insight on due diligence, uh, like in a question that investors should be asking. Well, I appreciate that. That's a great question, Richard. Uh, in fact, I'll be celebrating my 22nd year with the company this coming October. Cool. Uh, the, the question 
the, the typical questions from your investors are always, well, what has the company done? What, what is your track record? Show us your latest projects. You know, they want to meet the CEO, press the flesh. The, the question that they rarely ask, and I think is most important, I think it's most important, particularly for a fund like ours where we have the discretion to go buy the property. Who are the members of the team that, that are handling the day-to-day -day management? For that fund and, and by extension your money what are their experiences uh, you know have they been there for all of that great track record or do you have a brand new team so i bring 22 years in in five different areas of our company a lot of different experience the team i've assembled around me every one of them has worked in property management we're not we're not just a bunch of quant jocks that have run the numbers and then gone on to start acquiring. Uh, the real value is created through the asset management process. Now granted, you need to buy the property correctly, but you need to uh, then manage it. That's where the real value is created. And, and if your team doesn't have the experience, then you're going to have a hard time getting there. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, what, what you said just reminded me of something that one of my, my friends said, he runs like a uh, dentist, doctor, investor club group. And um, he said he's looking, he said that his biggest challenge in due diligence is often finding what you just said, that the team is very experienced, not just the founder, not just one principal that is very well known, but they, they have depth among the team. Um, I'd be happy to connect you with them to kind of share notes on that as a follow up here. Uh, my last question is about uh, a $100,000 piece of advice that you would have for investors listening um, it could be related to real estate investing, due diligence, valuation, negotiation. What's something that you wish you knew in 1998 when you got started at Beach, Beach and Company or, or you could share with others? Well, my answer to that really is coming from, you know, as, as we talk to potential investors and everybody wants to make, we just want to di invest directly. We want to buy that property ourselves. We, you know, we want to be the syndicator however it is, uh, without realizing that they can get all the same tax benefits and, same, and ownership benefits of being in a fund. But my real question to them is, don't, or advice, don't ever underestimate the amount of time that is going to be required on a continual basis once you own that property. Um, it is con it, it's absolutely continual. You need to be talking to that property management team every, every week, if not daily at times you're going to be interacting with the contractors every little bit takes time takes energy and then throw real estate cycles or or a pandemic in the mix and what do you do um i liken it to the proverbial the dog that caught the car now what's he do <laughs> and and so from that aspect never underestimate uh the you know the need for experience in both the team and the sponsor, or if you're going to try and do it yourself, you know, it, what you're going to need to get there. Sure. And maybe we can cover it in a different interview sometime, but I think the tax benefits being in a fund versus direct and, you know, can you still get some of that bonus depreciation up front or cost no, segregation? Get, get it all. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of confusion around taxes in general, especially real estate related taxation and almost every private investor I know needs help or needs insight on that. So I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I didn't know you were going to, but I think that that's something that investors aren't aware of. I think sometimes they think that the only way to get that is by buying it themselves. Maybe if a sponsor is informed, they can get it through a sponsor, but through a fund, I think they're just uninformed a lot of the time about you know how to navigate that or, or if it's even an option to make a tax efficient investment that way. So that's great. Well, again, great another due diligence question for, for any investor, what are you doing to maximize, um, you know, I don't want to use the word shelter, but minimize taxes, minimize that tax burden as much as you can. And uh, that is something that we have really strived to do. Um, I've, got a, I've got examples in our pitch deck for people to read through, you know, the benefits there. But quite frankly, as a partnership, all of everything that we generate for the property flows straight through to the investors, no different than if they had bought it themselves. Sure, sure. And I guess after 
75 years, you know, you've learned taxes matter for your organization as well as investors, obviously. So that's front and center, I'm sure, with a lot of how you guys structure deals. And uh, I'd be happy to have you as a guest on our uh, commercialrealestate.com platform. We're uh, doing 100 tax interviews on how to be more tax efficient, uh, okay. thinking that, you know, the people who want to hear that type of stuff are probably people that have enough income that they care about taxes. And um, maybe we should have you on there as a guest expert sometime. So Thank you for your time here today. What's the best way for someone to get in touch with you, Leonard? If they have questions, they want to share due diligence notes or learn more about the Beach Company Company? Uh, multiple ways. You can always call me directly, email me. We're on LinkedIn. We have a web presence at www.beachrealestatefunds.com or at thebeachcompany.com. Okay, great. And was that a Beach Real Estate Fund or funds.com? Funds. Funds with an S. Funds with an S. Okay, great. Well, thank you for being here today and uh, look forward to having you on again, maybe at one of our virtual summits or for a tax interview. Take care. I'd, I'd welcome the opportunity. Thank you very much.